Good morning guys. Welcome to a day of my life in New York. Um, this is mainly going to be a nice little solo day. I'm going to see my friends the rest of the week. I've got a lot of events, recording and doing all that stuff. I actually think I'm going to get lunch with Alexa because she's in town and I haven't seen her in like literally pre-pandemic I think. Like it's been a very long time. So anyways, um, I woke up. I had a little bit of drama. I just made a TikTok about this, but guys, like I'm actually crazy and I need to be stopped for many reasons. This is my reason today, okay? Oh, by the way, I'm in New York this week. Um, I'm recording episodes the next two days and then after that we have an influencer event for the Oakland for a pop-up that we're having this weekend at Abode. And I am just praying right now because we have separately some issues with shipping. So like I am believing in miracles. I am back to my Bible college ways and Jesus himself is going to deliver these boxes to me. That is what I'm thinking. Anyways, back to my drama this morning. Okay, also I got new brushes, so like, I don't even know if I'm gonna like these or if they're even gonna be good. Something about me is that like I hate people being rude more than anything. I actually think I just hate like lack of Southern hospitality because I think like sometimes even friends of mine, like they'll say things or do things and I'm like horrified. Right? Like literally horrified. But I think it's like more normal for them. But like, I don't know. I'm sure it is more normal, maybe. But like still, right? I just like, I think it is important to be nice people. It's also really easy to be nice people. Also, you get more of what you want that way. Like it's not rocket science. So I called the front desk. I got here last night. I asked like where I can get an ice bucket. And they said, oh, we'll bring you one because like there's an ice machine, but there's no like buckets or whatever. Or, I actually don't really know. She said that we will bring you one. That we'll, She said we will need to bring you one. Something like that. She said, just call in the morning and we'll have it to you. I was like, okay, no problem. Call this morning. Get let through. My Well, first off, the phone in my hotel doesn't work. So I call off my phone and I get there. And then she's like, oh, I'll transfer you somewhere else. It's already kind of rude. And I was like, okay. She answers me to this person. And then this person, it goes straight to voicemail. And there's no voicemail open. So it's just like hangs up the call. So then I call like every other extension, no answer at all. So then I called the first one, I was like, hi, so sorry. Like, and no one's letting me through. Like, I can take care of it. Just like, blah, blah, whatever. Which they didn't want me to take care of it. So I think that was part of the issue, but I was just trying to be nice. Okay, a lined cheek. Is this for blush? Oh, I already put blush on. Okay, well, whatever. This like doesn't sound like a big deal. Cause honestly, it wasn't like a huge deal. <laughs> but also you had to be there to understand how rude she was. But then after I caught myself planning her demise in my head, like I'm getting ready and I'm doing makeup and I'm like, if I worked at this hotel, I would sit here, I would stay here secretly and I would call as if I'm like a normal guest, not even in like the craziest suite or anything like that. And if that woman was rude to me, I would have her fired on the spot. And I'm like thinking of all these ways to like take this woman down from like one bad interaction. Like what is wrong with me? I'm not always like that. Uh, I don't really know what's going on there. But um, anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna have a great day in New York. Can't wait. All right, y'all. It is now time to switch over my bag. Look at what I have here. Isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, right? Um, I flew with it like squished in between my bag. My bag was very overweight, so way too big. I was worried I would have like permanently creased it, but I didn't at all. I just should not have ever put it in that suitcase, so. Anyways, I have this bag that I'm wearing today, so I'm gonna switch them over. This is my look. It is only like 60 right now, so it's gonna get to 70, so I'm gonna be hot today. But I need to shoot content and then stop by a boat and stuff, so we're gonna have to suck it up. It's gonna be tough, okay? Anyways, heading out. I'm gonna get breakfast, maybe do a little bit of shopping, walk around, listen to a podcast, you know. All the usual stuff. It is insane how much this bag fits, which is why I love it so much. This is the only sample of the black one that we have. That's why there's a tag in that. I also weirdly have a Tower 28 air freshener in this bag. I have no idea how that got there. Um, but even when you hold it up, like it locks, it's gonna hold my big vlog camera too, which is like honestly the main reason that I need this bag because I just like don't, like my, Chanel is perfect for day to day and it holds my smaller vlog camera, but this vlog camera that I'm filming on right now, the quality is so much better and it is just like a very large camera. 
So if y'all are vloggers and you need a bag that carries it, that's gonna be a more affordable bag, but very cute. This is the one. For a little size difference, here you go. It's just like really, really cute, so. I'm very excited. These are in development right now. Um, hopefully they will be out by the end of the year, I think for sure. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Also, my hotel room is like pretty cute. Like I like the like the molding on the door. I like the all white. There's good lighting in here. I'm staying in Soho this time, I normally just stay near the studio. I'm using a new studio in New York this week, so the new one is the one that you've seen probably everyone in New York using lately. It's we're all using the same one. Um, but I booked this hotel, didn't even realize it's literally 0.1 miles away. And that is how far my other one was when I was in Midtown. And obviously, Midtown is like further away from like all the things that I do with my friends and everything. So Midtown's great, don't get me wrong. Um, but like not my ideal place to stay. So I'm glad that we've moved. Staying in Soho is way more expensive, I will say. But, um, and Midtown's great because I was also like right by Bryant Park and I like Bryant Park. So anyways, heading off. Just picked up some breakfast at Meriwether on my walk. This looks so good. And then I just got an iced matcha latte. Just sitting outside by myself, might pull out my Kindle, listening to a podcast. So beautiful. I'm getting hot in this car. I'm going to Aritzia to shop for a live show out there for my Dallas live show uh, November 11th. Tickets below. I think I have an idea. Picked up a bunch of stuff, not for the live show. I decided I kind of want to go shopping in Dallas for the live show. I also was like, I don't have room. And then I ended up buying like five items, but I got them for a great price. Also met Rochelle in there. So nice, so cute. I'll do a haul later. Really comfy clothes, I want to wear them now. All right, I'm stopping in the Real Real up here. This has been my card case for years. And I just like haven't cared, but I probably need to get a new one. So if I find one I like, I will. This is also like one of my favorite The Real Reels. Guys, okay, no card case at The Real Reel. Went to Marc Jacobs because I love their card cases. They didn't have any either, but they had this pink purse. We'll put it on the screen. I am obsessed. It is so cute. So I will link it below. It's really small, like it wouldn't really carry much, but like it's so cute. I think I might as well just stop and coach. Maybe they'll have a good card case. Coach has like really been on the up and up. Like it's incredible. All right guys, it's 11.30. I feel like I've done so much today and I am burning up. I'm back in the hotel room. I need to do some work for the next couple of hours. I could go work somewhere, but honestly, like I think I'm just gonna stay in here. I'm gonna share with you guys a little Aritzia haul. So the hottest day this week of New York. It's not even hot, it's just like what I'm wearing. Anyways, um, I got some things at Aritzia. Surprise, surprise. None of which I went in for. I've been looking for this sweater dress or sweater skirt set for so long and I've gone to like four or five Aritzias and they have not had the skirts either in stock or in my size. So I'm just gonna keep dreaming. Anyways, I got all pink and brown, classic. The first thing I got is this little pink turtleneck. So cute, I really like pink and brown being a blonde. It's in there also like my two favorite colors. Then I just got this brown long sleeve because I can never have too many like long sleeve shirts. I got this set, which I'm gonna change into right now. It's a Sunday best set. Also, all this stuff was like really good price wise. And then last but not least, I got this little sweater. Like, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like I am obsessed. I'm so into this. So Anyways, that's what I got. Here's the thing, I think I'm gonna be able to use the extra suitcase that we have that we're gonna bring tote bags in, hopefully. Um, and then we'll have extra stuff and extra. Yeah, I'll have like more suitcases to put my stuff back in. But anyways, I'm gonna change into this, drink my water, watch like a podcast, maybe read a little bit, and then start working a little bit more. I do have just a bunch of stuff for the pop-up, stuff for launch, and then I have like podcast episodes prep that I need to do, which I have like everything pretty much prepped, but besides like two of them, and one of them is two of them are actually tomorrow. So I have to get on to that right now. All right guys, I just ordered lunch. I got barbecue pizza. I love barbecue pizza, like barbecue pizza from California Pizza Kitchen. Unbelievable. I haven't had that in so long, but so good. 
So I'm having this and I'm actually gonna meet Alexa at like 3.30. Our plans today have changed so many times and then we were gonna do like a little early drink and then it got pushed and now we're doing like an early drink at like 4 p.m. So anyways, I also got a Coke, which I never drink soda. Very random for me. I'm watching Shannon's probably a podcast with her boyfriend and I'm getting work done. I'm just relaxing in the room. I want more than anything to take my makeup off, but I'm gonna wait until after I like go to a boat and stuff. We're gonna go to Ruby's when I meet up with Alexa. And then I'm gonna have like a really cozy night in my hotel. I love that, like putting on a movie, a face mask, like your pajamas. I'm very, very excited. So that is what we're doing right now. It is 1 p.m. I also haven't had coffee. I ordered it earlier and I didn't drink it. So, and I had matcha, but like this matcha, like, listen, I love matcha, but matcha does something when it's like my 3 p.m. drink. I don't think it really does as much when it's my 9 a.m. drink, you know? Guys, this has been like quite the past two hours. I'm glad I came home to work. I didn't get any of it done. I will be tonight because we've just had a lot of drama. So long story short, we were supposed to get our scarves and beanies by now. And then we were told that they were gonna arrive by Thursday or Friday, Friday latest, which is already too late for the influencer event. I was already upset about that, but I was like, you know what, we'll have them, we'll ship them. You gotta roll with the punches. When you're an entrepreneur, it's like 95% problem solving. Then I get an email, which our stuff was supposed to be sent on the 5th, originally in the 8th, last, right? So I've been asking for the tracking for the past 24 hours. No one's gotten back to me on that. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I at least need to know what's going on because I own this brand and I have to figure out what we're doing. We're literally in New York for a pop-up and for this whole thing, right? So then they finally get back to us and they're like, yeah, well, it hasn't shipped yet, blah, 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 like not very, like there's just like no help. They don't know either. Like there's nothing that whatever you can do. So they have a call with them. Um, right now, obviously people are sleeping in, well not obviously, but right now people are sleeping in China. When you guys are watching this, I don't know what time it will be. This evening they'll have the last, they'll know basically. <laughs> I'm like losing my mind. This evening, they will know. They were supposed to be, we were promised that they were gonna be shut down on the 8th. So, it's just been like a big mess and obviously we wouldn't have wanted to do this in this time for sure anyways. We would have already wanted the product and all this stuff. We were just told that we were gonna have it and that everything was taken care of. And that was like literally their job. Like that wasn't our job at that point. And we've been following up, don't worry. You should see my emails right now. But anyways, I had a little freak out. I called Dom and then I called Marissa and then I just called Alexa. And I called Abby, who um, owns a boat. And this is what we're gonna do. At the worst case scenario, just taking you guys with me along for the journey of being an entrepreneur, newer, not uh, entrepreneurial, also that. But we have our New York edition tote bags and we have some sets left that we can sell. So we have those. And then we also will have the four samples of the scarves. So people can see them and feel them and then order them and then get free shipping to be then mailed to them. So then they also don't have to lug them around It'll be great. So worst case scenario, that is what's going to happen. Um, obviously not ideal, not what we wanted, but at the end of the day, you can only control what you want to control. We, this has been in the works for so long and we were told like months ago, this wouldn't be an issue and then everything went around and then we kept being told it wouldn't be an issue. And then today it became an issue. So um, it is currently Tuesday and we need the stuff by really Friday. Um, and that's not here. That stuff is not gonna, I don't wanna say it, who knows. They're gonna have a call with them and see. We will see. But um, at worst case scenario, we've got it covered. I'm gonna go into a bode later and Abby and I are gonna do, um, well, I kind of already have problem solved, but Abby just wanted to like go over some things. So that is what is happening. And there's only so much you can do. At first, I was like, I am gonna have a panic attack. I'm gonna have a motherfucking panic attack. That's how I felt. I really did feel that way. Very stressed out. And then I was like, you know what? I sound like I'm doing my better help ad read, but we're not gonna focus on the problems. We're gonna focus on the solutions. And that is going to be our solution. And so Jess is obviously still in Texas and she can bring all the sets and stuff from our inventory. And then she can also bring, um, just like a bunch of, like she can just bring a bunch of stuff. So it's going to be okay. Don't even worry. So like, this is what I want to wear to Ruby's, but I think I need to dress up a little bit more. Like this is a different look, a look that I, I can't do right now. Wow, what an emotional couple of hours. But this is what I'm wearing. Very, very basic and simple, nothing crazy. It's gonna be too warm for this scarf, but I need it for the TikToks I'm making out of Bode. 
because people can still buy and shop the scarves. You just won't get them that day. Um, so it'll be fine because you can still shop early, feel them. Because like obviously a lot of like the issues with online shopping is that you can't like actually feel them in person and see how big they are. Try them on, you know, do whatever you want. So that is what we're doing. What a, what a day, what a day. But I am proud of myself because I used to like freak out and spiral to no end. Like I'd be calling my parents crying at this point. Haven't called them once. Did call my friends and did spiral a little bit there. Um, I called Marissa because Marissa is like my sounding board in life. Like everyone has a friend that you call to like, you know, and that's Marissa. She immediately gave me a genius idea. That was her idea. And uh, now things are, now things are working out. I need to go to Sephora too. Been using this new self tanner and it's just like, did you see my neck? Like it's not the vibe. I do have my exfoliating gloves, but I don't have the exfoliating like exfoliator. So I need to get that today and I want to get like a new face mask or something. So I need to run some errands and then I'm going to be back for the night. Guys, this is Hannah. We just met. <laughs> I like thought I knew you. You look really? so familiar. Yes. It's so crazy. I'm like, do we like talk on Instagram ever? I feel like I have DM'd you before. Okay, then maybe that's why. Because yeah. I was like, I know you. I literally like, I'm definitely like, like oh my God, hey girl. Oh my God. No, I love it. Well, she's been watching forever on YouTube. So how to give a shout out. Look at her cute outfit. Oh my God, I love. I'm so like, right now. Guys, I got a watermelon cocktail and a pumpkin salad. It looks the way I'm with. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, you're oh sorry. Gosh, oh my god, no, you're so good. Literally, you're fine. Did you order these? So good, yeah, trouble fries. For the table, looks so good. All right, guys, we're just stopping by Abode just to, oh, I need to make some TikToks and just do some things and do some damage control today. But look how cute it is. Okay, guys, so Abby and Caroline are actually saving my life right now. So we're doing a little embroidery moment, which is like kind of a dream for this scarf. Basically, they're gonna be on display and then people who are coming to the pop-up to like a certain amount are gonna be able to get embroidery and then get their scarves like mailed to them. So we're doing that now. But these girls are really just saving my life. You really are, <laughs> truly. You have no idea. Thanks, guys. So yeah, good. Okay, it's so cute. This is what we're doing now at the pop ups. So cute. This is Abby. She owns Bode and she is my <laughs> lord and savior, my lifesaver at this point. I was like, these girls are saving my life. So, anyways. The solution has come, and it's gonna be that we're doing embroidery, so you wouldn't want to get the scarves that day anyways, because you'd have to have embroidery. It's gonna be so chic, so cute. They're so cute, amazing. like, this is like amazing, like so good. So anyways, thank you, love you forever. I guess I'll show you guys my haul later. Love this place so much. Um, I have to go work, so thank you, bye. Okay, I'm back, here's what I got at Sephora. I got some body polish, which is an exfoliator that I really needed, another face mask. I only have two, also. Lauren just texted me. She's watering the plants. Guys, Marissa knew that I was having a really bad day because I called her immediately. And she sent me cookies. Like this is, and they're also like incredible cookies if you haven't had them before. Oh my God, like this is literally my dinner for tonight. Oh my God, so nice. I'm out of the shower. I scrubbed off my tanner. Um, so my skin's a little bit red. I have my face mask on, having a little nice Spa night, it's eight, I still have work to do. Um, and I need to prep for tomorrow's episodes, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm feeling so much better. Now that all this, you know, got worked out, it was a, ends up being a good, good day just here in New York City. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am going to just work and read for the rest of the night. So there's really like not much to film. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed all the drama. I'm taking you guys along. Love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. My biggest fear in life is, like, I'll accidentally settle, which, I th which I'm which i so not that. And I think that maybe when I was writing this down, I was thinking maybe I actually do have a little bit of commitment issues, and that's why I'm so, and I've never felt that way before, <laughs> but that's why I'm so like, oh my God, don't talk to me, because I just think, like, that is not gonna be the best case scenario for me. Okay.